basically right after my parents left to the, to Israel, left the States, and I, I was trying to go on with my life as usual. Um, I was not going no more to the church, but uh, then things uh, started to go uh, worse with my relationship with Karin, because uh, she realized that I'm not exactly... <laughs> interested or curious no more with the church and with uh, Sundays and and basically I was studying back then in college and uh, I was at the same time flying by the field I was in Broward Community College and um, in one of the courses that I took um, as part of uh, my degree professional pilot was a uh, theology, uh, just to increase my knowledge about theology at the university and see what the academic world have to say about religion and about Judaism, about Christianity, about many other religion. And um, it was a lecture that um, our past I mean, a pastor used to deliver in Broad Community College. And something happened in the middle of the class when the pastor he told us about his, his about it. He was he was uh, not exactly pastor. He was a Catholic priest, I'd say, and he um, was studying ten years in in the Vatican in Rome, and and then he he, he used to be our t- teacher and. He was supposed to go over the religion of the world and teach us, and we were supposed to take tests on each religion and have a score for the course. And uh, there was another uh, Israeli uh, uh, woman that uh, used to study with me, and we were only the only two Israelis there, and uh, Jewish probably. Uh, there, and um, basically, when the when, when the priest when he when he started to um, describe Judaism, it was horrifying to me. It was really uh, ama- am- amazing. I I never heard such a thing because he was trying to explain to the students in the college that Abraham used to worship the God of the mountain, the God of the mountain. And he was naming the sh- name of God, uh, Shakai. And would say, he was saying that it's the name of the God of the mountain. And I told him, and I stood and I told him, sorry, but uh, I'm a Jew and I, I know exactly, I'm from the south of Israel, and I know exactly what the Jew- Jewish people are doing. And they put a, a mezuzah, in 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 uh, their their doors by their doors and and they they still are are are, are worshiping the god of uh, Shakai. It's a name of God. It's not the name of the god of the mountain. They don't worship the god of the mountain. And, and it's uh, it's um, you're making a mistake and you're you're making here a big confusion. To, uh, you're confusing the students. And he was uh, kind of embarrassed, uh, and he didn't know what to say and how to respond. And then he told me, okay, thank you, and I sat. And then uh, he went on and on, and and, uh, he was repeating himself again and again. And then I told him, I'm sorry, but uh, I made another comment while I was sitting. I'm I'm sorry, but you're totally wrong and and you're saying something that it's it's not true and all of a sudden uh, a catholic uh, young woman stood uh, she was very tall uh, she stood up and uh, she probably was a very religious uh, catholic uh, believer and she pointed at me and she started to shout we didn't come to hear you and I felt like uh, I, I an embarrassment, and uh, he started to say, "I didn't. We didn't come to hear you. We come to listen to the lecture, 
of him and if you don't want to listen to the lecture then she point out to the door and told you she, she was about to tell me to leave the place but then from showing me with her finger the door she she took her ha hand and put it on her neck couldn't breathe turned red and fell to the ground and i and all the uh, all the people all the students ran to her to see what happened to her she fell to the she fell on the floor in the middle of the class and and uh, there was a big uh, um, stress in the class and everybody stared at me whether I'm, uh, I'm doing any magic or I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a magician or, or something and, and they were staring at me and I I didn't really realize what's what I mean I, I, I saw them all running toward her to see whether she need help to breathe or to, I don't know CPR or something and then there was a quiet and everybody s stared at me and I I whispered if she will go on then probably she will die and 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 they embarrassment <laughs> was so so big in the class that one of them one of the students uh, uh, whispered to to me um um is it uh, uh, is it is it because uh, she rejected Moses is it because she rejected Moses uh, uh, and then I mean the, the, the door of Moses and, and I and I, I, I was looking at him I I, I was a, a, a very far from Judaism myself I just was making a comment on on the name of God that, that I know that what he's explaining it's not right and and then the priest uh, decided to make a break in the middle of the class it was not the time to make a break but uh, we went on a break so every all, all the um, big rush and, and and all the stress will will um, wipe out and then I went on a break and i sat there on a branch and nearby me uh, right in front of me it was there was a table outside uh, the Israeli um, student, she sat in, in front of me and she told me, why are you doing it? Sh shut up. Don't, uh, don't uh, make any comment. Don't, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're here just to get our grades and that's it. And I told her, no, no, it's, you're here for, to get, to get your grades, but, 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 uh, it doesn't really mean that I'm supposed to hear anything and not to make a comment. It's not true. He's saying something that it's a, it's a lie. The Jewish people are not worshiping the God of the mountain. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, I saw that same uh, student, the Catholic student. Uh, she came over and she asked from the Israeli woman to to uh, give her a, a little space to sit right before me and I was you know I was uh, <laughs> very embarrassed what, what does she want she 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 sat in the in the, in the in, in the wood branch right right before me and she seems uh, she was staring at me and she told me I'm I'm asking your forgiveness I told her what kind of forgiveness uh, about what about Antis Semitism, and she told me, you know, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry, I, w I was wrong, I, w I was not supposed to make any comment, I, uh, and I told her, no, I forgive you, that's okay, and I'm not, uh, I just made, made a comment, because I know, I know the legacy, the minimum, a basic, it's a very basic thing, uh, so she told me, okay, so if you forgive me, then, uh, and everything is okay. And thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do that. do it again. I'm not. And then and then she left the place. And then right after it was like a 15 minutes break. Uh, everybody went to back to the class, and then and the priest stood right by the door. And when I came to enter, he told me, "No, no, you're not. You're not coming."
coming. You go to the library. You got your hundred grade. Go to the library. I will send you people to help them out. But, and then, you know, it was like flattering that it, it, on one hand, but actually I, I, I understood it very well. He didn't want me to interrupt him no more. He didn't want somebody like me to be in the class. I got my hundred in, the, in, the, in, the, in that course, but it was much more comfortable for him to say anything he wants without anybody criticizing him in the middle of the class. So I was not allowed to enter. I went to the library and basically I sat there. Nobody was sent toward me to help him, but I read whatever, anything I lacked, and then I went on with my courses. It was, for me, it was a, a red light turn on. It was the first red light. A few days after, I went to, to the field to teach flying, and then all of a sudden we have a little break there, and uh, I, I had a conversation with an F-15 pilot from the Air Force, American Air Force, another cowboy that came to study uh, from the Midwest, came to study flying in Florida. And we had a discussion, and they asked me, you, you have an accent, where, where are you from? And I told them that I'm from Israel. And then the cowboy uh, uh, asked me, he told me that, does it mean that you were a Jew? I told him, yes, I'm, I am a Jew, but it doesn't really necessarily mean that I'm a Jew if, I, if I'm coming, coming from Israel. And he told me, you know, we have one thing in common. And I told him, what? Uh, and, and he told me, we both eat kosher, kosher meat. I told him, yeah, you think you know what kosher meat is. First of all, I'm not eating kosher. And he was very surprised. And his face turned. Now, uh, his, his impression was was like, why aren't you a Jew? Why aren't you eating kosher? And then I told him, what's kosher is all about? What do you know about kosher? And he told me, no, no, there is a rabbi that's coming from Michigan to to um to our place and and they check the they check the animals they 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 know how to check them and then they slaughter them and uh, we eat from from what they they slaughter the the what the rabbi are doing uh, the kosher uh, uh, meat and besides we know how they sell them they sell them with a k and a circle or a you with a circle and and we think that it's the most most healthier meat to eat. Why aren't you eating a kosher meat? It's uh, much clean and much uh, healthier. And then uh, you know, I didn't. <laughs> I was smiling. I, I could really answer why I'm not eating a kosher meat. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not hearing it from a rabbi from Mashari. I'm hearing from a cowboy from the Midwest that's asking me and telling me that we have something in common. And, uh, and then uh, that, that he eat the kosher food. And I was a little embarrassed. And then I thought to myself, you know, people have many different ways, and each one of them have his thoughts. Okay, uh, bon appetit. And then the F-16 pilot started to speak with me. He told me, you know, I, I visited Israel. I told him, well, yeah, how, how long ago? And then he told me that in Desert Storm, during the war, he had to fly and to, to uh, um, fly with the Patriot, I mean, uh, and to, to bring the Patriot to Israel. And he flew with the, uh, he flew to Israel and he told me, that he landed in Haifa, and then from Haifa to Elat, he drove for three days, he was traveling around in Jerusalem, and I told him, what do you think about my country? And we thought, oh, very beautiful, it's uh, amazing, it's such a little place, and so many different kind of views, and, and it's, um... but the people are very spicy, 
And said, what do you mean? Oh, the way they drive, the way they, they talk. You know, they're very strong people. Very, uh, um, they have, they're very, um, uh, I'd say, uh, spicy people, the way they think. And, and, uh, and I told him, yes, uh, <laughs> there is anything good that you can say about them. And then he told me, yes, well, they're very wise people. And uh, besides, I know that uh, you're not, uh, you're, you're holy people, because uh, I told him, what is your background? Are you, are, are you a Jew? He told me, no, no, I'm not a Jew. I'm, um, my background, I'm a secular person, but I'm from a, a Catholic background. I'm not going to the church. I'm not practicing any religion. I, uh, that's uh, the environment, uh, the background that I'm coming from, but everybody knows. What happened in Desert Storm? You know, even the newspapers in England uh, that wrote about the spatial um, uh, missiles that you have, which is a, a book of Psalms, the book of King David. Instead of, I mean, instead of missiles, you have uh, you have a Tehillim and God. So uh, all 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 the people around the world were able to see during the Desert Storm. The 39 missiles that landed in the land of Israel and nobody got hurt. Uh, instead of uh, only one person die and he, and he died because he didn't put the, the, the mask in the right way and he, he suffocated. And uh, he told me, it's, it's, a, it's a miracle that happened to you. We know that God is keeping you because you're... Uh, <laughs> but that's not uh, the way you, you were supposed to think as a Christian. He told me, you know, I don't know my Christianity very well, but I, I know what I see, and that's what I see, and, and that was very impressive. And for me, as a, an F-16, F-15 pilot, I, I know what I saw, and I saw that basically a miracle happened, and, and people that cannot see it are blind. doesn't really matter where you're coming from. It's a reality that you have to look, look for. I was, it was another red light, another sign, another uh, a wake up call. I'd say that um, that took place. A few weeks after, I was in a big conflict inside me. I didn't know whether I know that the truth was behind me. It was in Israel, but. It, it, I was not exactly sure because I was between world, between 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 cultures, uh, between Christianity and Judaism. And one night when I drove back from the college, and I drove on the I seventy five, and I took the exit. I don't really remember where. Uh, it was many years. And it's been many years that I'm not in the States. And it was somewhere, I don't know where. And then I was passing nearby a Catholic church. I usually don't enter to a Catholic church. Because there is statues there. And I really don't feel comfortable with it. And But I parked my car. I felt very, very emotional. I entered to the church. It was you know, everything was dark. Uh, only a little room for the confession. The priest that was waiting were, was waiting for a confession. But I didn't walk to his room. I, I walked to the church. I was standing before the branches, the wooden branches. And it was dark, and, and the church was very tall and high. And I saw, I saw all the images, and I saw all the icons on the, on the on the wall and uh, Maria holding a baby and 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 Yeshu on the cross with all the and I started to to talk with God I was very emotional I was saying God I know I don't I don't know if you're if you're here or not I, I'm assuming that you're not here but actually you're everywhere so I don't know what to do? I'm in the middle of my life. I'm in the age of 33. 
I'm I'm married on one hand. I don't. I have my life here. On the other hand, I have a call to go back to Israel inside me. I'm in a big conflict in the middle of my life, and and actually, I I would like you to give me, give me a sign. Where are you? I, and I was praying. And I remember what I was praying. It was very emotional. I was crying. And and I was basically criticizing God for not giving me a clear sign where he is because I was searching. I, I know that I'm unstable. I know that I was studying in Hare Krishna. I know that I was studying Buddhism and and convert to Christianity and and but I I knew that one thing I'm searching for you God and many many people are not curious about you and if they don't buy with the truth in the grocery then they don't interested in the truth but I'm interested in the truth it's impossible to live and to go on with my life without the truth and I'm actually have life have wife have a car have an airplane I'm I'm toward my degree I'm very successful as a flight instructor as in, in college and I'm asking you one thing guide me to you I'm willing to sacrifice anything everything at for you but where you are in Tibet in Israel in Jerusalem are you in the church? Do you have a yamaka? Do you have a talit or or a cross on your neck? Or, or, or you're not even bonded with humanity or you don't have any contact with people? Or, or, or who knows? Maybe you're only a, a fact, a, 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 a natural law. Or Tell me. Give me a sign. And I was shouting in the church big scream and I was screaming give me a sign I was, I was, was, I was praying in Hebrew and the uh, and the priest he heard me screaming and I was crying I was standing there and he was walking toward me and he put his hand on my shoulder and told me my son come with me I come 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 sit with me. Come eat with me. I told him, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't take your hand off. I, uh, leave me alone. I I left the church. I was too excited. I told him, no, no, no. I'm, I want to find the truth on my own. On my own. Leave me alone. And, 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 and then I drove my car probably too fast. And uh, and I got a big ticket, three hundred dollar ticket, for driving 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 fast on the on the I seventy five. And then when I drove home to it was uh, um, where I the Fort Lauderdale. I don't really remember exactly <laughs> the name of the place. Um, then. Um, when I walked in, I decided I'm thinking too much. Maybe I'm making a mistake by thinking. It's too much thinking. Don't think. You know, you're in a big conflict because you you, you don't fly with the flood. You don't live your life right. And and I washed my face, my 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 my, my face, and and then I I made a coffee. And I turned on the TV and I thought to myself, okay, I have a remote control, 120 channels. I'm just going to turn on the TV and see anything that there is. I'm not going to change channels. I'm not going to search for anything special. I, it doesn't really matter. Just to run away from my thinking. And I sat there in the living room, putting my my feet on the table trying to lie, lay back on the couch and trying to really relax a little bit. And then I saw in the middle of the TV, 19-inch TV, it was the first time in my life, the American TV that I see Rabbi 
pointing out with his finger into the middle of the screen, straight to me, to my face, and telling me, you, you, the Jew that's sitting there in the living room, you think that God doesn't listen to your prayers, prayers. He is listening, listening to your prayers anywhere. And, and that was too much for me. It was too much for me. I turned off the TV and I, I thought, no, 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 no. I'm trying to run away from something and I, I can't run away. I actually come to a realization that there is a way that God is speaking to, to people. It's not through a conversation, maybe. I'm not a Moses. But actually, he, he gives signs. He writes a sign on the wall. He write by, by living the footsteps. He's giving you a sign everywhere. In a TV, or in the college, or when you go to a flying school with the cowboys and the F-16 pilots. At Dr. Michael, in the church with the tefillin, he's giving you, he's talking to you. It's a language that you have to listen to. It's a sign of, of the universe, signs of the universe. Claiming hashgacha. Claiming hashgacha exists, directing to, toward you message, and you're not... <laughs> You're not uh, tuned enough to listen. And I thought to myself, I'm, I'm going to listen. From now on, I'm, I'm going to listen. I, I took a shower. I went to sleep. That was my conclusion, to listen. <laughs> to listen to the message. And, and, and God have a sign, and he probably claiming in Ashgacha. And I really recall the Shema Israel that I was screaming in the desert, in the middle of the desert, when I was a child running along the fence in, in, in the middle of the desert of the Negev in the south of Israel, if you remember my first radio program when I started to tell you the story. And when I started, when I lost my way and I shouted Shema Yisrael after fainting, after waking up from the fainting, and then fainting again there in the middle of the desert till over midnight and then waking up and seeing the light beams from over the fence of Tzahal pointing at me and lighting me and lightening me and, and, and I heard the screaming of the commander put your gun off it's a it's a child and I, and I really remember I started to put things together and to understand that Basically, I, I was asking signs from God, and I'm having it, but I'm not listening to it quite well, not really. And I, I decided to really pay attention, to be a little more awake, and, 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 and that's something that raised consciousness inside me to the upper level of existence of heaven but controlling anything, any action, anything that's happening here down here in our world I 